Okay, we're back at it again after getting the tractor moved and this place cleaned up. My goal is to take these shims and make sure they're evenly spaced on both sides of these bearing retainers so that I can reinstall uh, the differential and do a trial and error and see how much I have to adjust for backlash. And I brought myself today a handy little uh, micrometer from Harbor Freight and it was Mother's Day special. I'm not sure Chris is going to appreciate this, but uh, I'll let her know I bought it for her, nevertheless. More later. Okay, I was able to, uh, using my micrometer, get the exact fit size of the shims on each side of the bearing retainers, so they're even, they're evenly spaced. A friend at work told me to take off the old, excuse me, take off the new bearings I had installed on the differential and reinstall the old ones. But since I'll have to pull this thing out several times to trial and error for fit, he said that would put less wear and tear on the brand new bearing. Sounds like a decent idea. And I got this substance called Perusian Blue. And in theory, it spreads this stuff along these gears. When it meshes with the bevel gear, I'll pull it back out and see how the bevel gear is fitting within these ring gears. It's going to be interesting. This stuff is black as sin, but according to the directions, it says that uh, that the marks will show up as bright uh, bright streaks. I don't know how that's going to happen, but I guess we'll give that a try. More later. Okay, I have this gear marking compound called, compound called Perusian Blue, and instructions say that I just rub the stuff on the teeth of the gear, two or three teeth, and the displacements will show up as bright blue streaks. So I did a test on this stuff because I did some reading online and a couple of folks weren't real fond of this Perusian Blue. So I put some on the inside gears of the differential and rotated it around to see what it would look like. Indeed, I see a few blue streaks, but I have no idea how to read that. Uh, it seems that most people are using this gear compound that's colored in yellow. So I call a Napa store. They don't know where they can get any. I could order some online, but I'd prefer to get something locally. But anyway, if anyone's got some thoughts on gear marking compound, I would appreciate it. Thank you.